So a few days ago, I made a post for my free Facebook mastermind asking who'd be interested in me reacting to their cold message outreach. I got a lot of responses and in this video, I'm gonna be reacting to three cold messages. Now, I've kept all these guys' details confidential and I also must admit that for the sake of the juiciness of this video, I picked three messages that had a lot of talking points. So I'm very excited to dig into these and I gotta be honest, I'm not very candid when it comes to feedback. I like to be honest, uh, sometimes brutally honest uh, and I like to say what needs to be said because at the end of the day, we are trying to make an impact. We are trying to grow a business. So uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. So first up, we've got Michael, and the first thing that I'm gonna be looking at is the subject line. And Michael right here is using a very simple subject line question. Now, there's a few things that I would say about the subject line. Number one is that it's not specific to the end user. It's not specific to the person that's receiving this message. So what I personally like to do is personalize the subject line, either with the first name of the business owner or the founder or the CMO or the company name. You want to make sure that there's an element of personalization on that subject line straight out the bat, right? It tells them that, hey, this is for you. And also, even if you have an automated sales funnel in place, there's still that sense of personalization straight out the bat. The second thing that I would say about this subject line is that it's not very inciting, it's not very clickbaity. The honest truth is that people don't like answering questions, especially if it's from a stranger or someone who they don't know. Because what is attached to a question is an answer, which means they have to invest their time and energy into answering your question, right? And so you wanna lead with value. And ideally what you wanna do with the subject line is clickbait them into opening the email. It's all about hooking them in and getting them to open the email, right? Because if they don't even open the email, then it's game over. And the way you wanna do that is by telling them something exciting that they can expect within that email. So that is the subject line. Now I'm gonna break it down by paragraph. So we've got dear first name. Okay, sounds good. Uh, how about if I try to bring you customers over the next 14 days completely free, right? So we've got a question straight out the bat. Now, Michael and you watching this, one of the things that you wanna keep in mind is that when a prospect opens an email, they are asking themselves, is this for me? Is this valuable to me? Is this important to read this email right now in this moment, right? So you wanna make sure you address that straight out the bat. This question is a very generic question. So you're not directly calling out and addressing who is this for? Why is this important? Why is this valuable? Why should you read this right now? So that's the first thing that I would say about that question. The second thing is I absolutely dislike the word try. The word try doesn't mean anything, right? I truly believe the word try should not even be a verb because let me ask you this. Imagine yourself trying to hit a tennis ball. Imagine yourself trying to run a marathon. Imagine yourself trying to sign clients. What does that even look like? You either do something or you do not. Another completely different thing is doing something and failing at it, right? Or failing during the process and then reaching success. But the word try does not mean anything. It is honestly just such a lazy verb and it shows absolutely no conviction. And here's something to think about for you, Michael, and for you watching this. If you don't even have conviction in your own service, do you feel like the client is ever gonna feel confident in literally handing you over their marketing, right, online? Handing you over ad spend, a service fee? Absolutely no. So that's the second thing about that question. And believe it or not, there's a third thing that I'd like to address and it's the word customers right there. Uh, it's a very vague word, right? You're not being specific. How many are we talking about? How are we measuring success? Now, this could be different for different clients, but if you are operating in a specific niche, if, for example, you're operating in a niche like real estate, you might be optimizing for an extra five to 10 house viewings every single week for that client. If you're doing e-commerce, you might be optimizing for profit, revenue, sales, ROAS, right? So be specific about your outcome. Uh, and what you're helping them achieve. So that is the first paragraph. The second paragraph reads, my name is Michael and I recently started my growth consultancy where I help contractors increase revenue without having to rely on referrals. Few things. I would not mention I recently started. And the reason why that is, is because it's not a point in your favor, right? If anything, it's a con and they haven't asked for it. So why add it, right? So I would just get rid of that. Um, and then I help contractors increase revenue. Be specific, right? How much revenue? What are we talking about? You know, six figures, seven uh, figures, eight figures. Do you go for the high end of the market? Do you go for the low end? Be specific. Um, apart from that, this looks okay, uh, except the that final last sentence. Your site highlights impressive work you're doing. Again, very, very general. Uh, it doesn't really speak to them much. Um, so you wanna get specific by your niche, right? Pick a specific niche and if you wanna scale your outreach and maybe completely do it automated, you want to make sure that you have a personalized touch to it. This is just too vague and too broad. So that's the second paragraph. Now the third paragraph reads, we could get you a lot of contacts interested in your pool building services in particular. The idea is to bring you contacts by Google or Facebook ads. So let's stop there for a second. Again, this is not specific enough. 
a lot of contacts. What do you mean by a lot? What, what does a lot mean, right? This is just lazy. You want to make sure you get it crystal clear on, on your irresistible offer. What are you bringing to the market, right? What is the specific problem that this pool building contractors are facing and how do you help them solve it? Once you get crystal clear on that, writing a cold message is so freaking simple, right? Because you're literally triggering their emotions, right? Tapping into their pain points, addressing the problem that they face, right? And tell them how you offer that solution. So that's the first thing. The second thing is a lack of conviction in your words, right? The idea is to bring you contacts by Google or Facebook ads, right? What does that even mean? You're gonna try to do that? Or what is the process to result, right? Now, I'm personally not a massive fan of getting very specific in those first emails, getting very esoteric because all I'm doing is I'm just selling the meaning. So I'm selling good emotions, I'm hooking them in, I'm addressing their fears, I'm tapping into their pain points, right? And I'm making it very clear that I understand their space like no other agency out there. That's essentially what I'm doing in my cold message for your info. Um, but having said that, that is the third paragraph. The next paragraph then reads, then it's up to you to continue the conversation and Close them if there is a match. Now, I really do not like this paragraph. I think you are getting too esoteric, but not only that, you're in a very weird kind of like middle ground. You're not being very specific, but at the same time, it's not very easily understood, right? So I would essentially figure out a much neater way of addressing what you actually do in literally one single line, which should be your agency mission. Now, if you guys don't know how to put together an agency mission, it's actually one of the things that I cover among hundreds of other things in my free masterclass where I show you how to sign and keep four-figure SMA clients for your agency. There's nothing for sale, so if you haven't checked it out already, go ahead and check it out after this video. With that being said, let's talk about this final line, the final paragraph, which is, would you be interested in doing this? Now, this is a very terrible line to end the cold message because what is the call to action? Is it to sign up with you already, right? Or is it to jump on a call with you? If it's the former, I really do not recommend you go down this route. You cannot close a cold client without ever speaking to them, especially with the type of service, which is a high ticket service. I'm talking 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, even 7,000 a month. And especially when it's literally their first touch point with you. So what you want to do is pitch the meeting and you want to make sure you pay the meeting as a high impact activity for them. So number one, making sure that they understand is completely a no brainer, right? And number two, they understand that they're going to get actionable strategies in this call and maybe you can actually outline them in the message. So that is that for Michael. The final thing that I will say that I completely forgot about is the fact that he says completely free at the very start of their outreach, which I think is a massive mistake. I know what the person is trying to do with this, which is just get the client's foot through the door, right? Um, and make it just a complete no brainer essentially by giving them a free demo. But what a lot of people don't understand is the insane damage that saying this is for free, what that does to your brand as a whole, right? Not only does it reduce your credibility, it reduces your authority and people shy away from that. What a lot of people don't understand is that successful business owners, successful people in life, they would rather pay big money to get the real thing and to get results than hire someone for free. And unfortunately, a lot of people that are offering their services for free, they are really good at their craft, right? But just because you're offering your service for free, your value is drastically reduced, right? They think they're going to have to invest their own time and energy teaching you the ropes because you don't know what you're doing, right? And so for them, it's a much bigger cost because they value their time way more than they value a three, four, five K a month retainer. So that's the first thing that you want to keep in mind regarding free. And the second thing is, it's not actually free, right? You're telling them to load your account with ad spend. So for them, it's an investment that they weren't doing before, right? So saying, hey, this is gonna be for free, not only reduces your credibility, but then you're telling them to actually believe in a service that you're gonna do for them. So it's not actually free. They are investing into something that they weren't investing into before. So I can 100% tell you that they would rather have a person that truly knows what they're doing with their money than someone who's just offering it to do it for free. So that is that for the first message, overall, I'm giving it a three out of 10. So uh, not very good at a lot of things to tweak, a lot, of, a lot of work to do on it. But with that being said, let's get into cold message number two. Uh, and so breaking it down again by paragraphs, we've got the first paragraph, which reads, I came across your brand via Instagram and I just wanted to say I was really impressed by your content for women's fitness and nutrition. Now, the first thing that I would say about this is that this hook is very generic. They've seen this time and time again. This is literally the hook that I would say 70% of agencies use. Uh, it's not going to hook them in. It's not very personalized either. Maybe if you've been following my advice, you are a, I don't know, a nutrition e-commerce agency, but it's honestly a very boring and generic hook. So that's the first thing that I would say. Now, the second paragraph reads, just thought you might find it interesting how we recently scaled an e-commerce brand from 30K to over 150K per month in revenue. 
I don't think that uh, paragraph is bad at all, actually. Um, but what I would do is I would make it more generic to the specific niche within e-commerce you're working with. And that is one of the reasons why I say picking a niche is so incredibly important because straight out the bat, it makes it so much more personalized for that prospect. And here's why hearing about this brand should be of interest to you. A lot of people think that just because they're both in the e-commerce space, then it addresses them. And that is completely false, right? The e-commerce space is just massive. It would almost be like emailing a dentist and telling them, hey, we helped a restaurant get 10 new leads every single day, right? Like, sure, they're both local businesses, but they're very different businesses, right? Whereas if you actually message a dentist and you told them, hey, we help this dentist across the city um, generate an extra 20 leads every single month, then that is much more interesting to them. So that is the second paragraph. The third paragraph reads, I am Gautam, owner of X Media, where we help establish e-commerce brands scale to seven and eight figures via paid ads in the most profitable way. Now, Gautam, hope I'm not butchering that name, but it's very apparent that Gautam has been watching my content and following my advice because this is literally the structure that I recommend for the core agency mission. Not this mission, but the structure. So that's pretty good. And now to the final paragraph, which is, would you be open to a quick call to chat further? Let me know and we can set up a time. This all sounds decent, but I would make that quick call much more of a no brainer. And not only that, but have them understand that that is a high impact activity, right? It's a good investment of their time. So that's why it's important to build up your authority, build up your social proof, which you've kind of done in that second paragraph and make sure that they understand the value of that call. So maybe walk them through some things that they can expect on that call. I have them future project to that call and have them understand the huge value that they're gonna gain from that call completely for free, just a no brainer, quick call. So that is that for the second message. And uh, will you look at the time? This video has gone on for quite a while now. I thought I'd be able to pack three messages into this video, but I think if I do that, it's gonna stretch out to a very long video, especially because the third message is uh, it's pretty juicy. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a massive thumbs up. It helps out the channel a ton. Also, I'd really appreciate it. It keeps me motivated to keep creating these videos for you guys. And most importantly, if you want the next part of this video where I analyze not only message three, but probably message four and five, because there was a lot of demand in my free Facebook Mastermind. If you want that, go ahead and comment down below. Next part, and I will put it together for you guys. And uh, we're gonna go into a lot of juicy topics, a lot of things that you should not be implementing in your cold outreach, some things you should be saying instead, and a lot of mistakes that a lot of people make when they start their agency. So if you wanna see that, go ahead and comment down below and make sure you've also liked the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship, social media marketing, agency marketing in general, and a ton of other topics. So if you don't wanna miss any of that, go ahead and sub to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you never miss an update. And the final thing is if you want to get the chance of me reviewing your cold message, right? And giving you feedback on it, plus live interviews, plus live trainings, plus live ask me anything. So go ahead and check out the link in the description. That is a link to my free Facebook Mastermind. We're so close to 2000 members at the time I'm recording this and we're literally creating the best digital marketing family in the internet. So if you wanna gain access to that, go ahead and check out the link in the description, go ahead and apply. And if you're a good fit, we will let you in. And as always guys, hope everything's going well in your journey. Hopefully you can take some of the strategies that we covered here today and apply them for your own agency, for your own outreach. Uh, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.